everyone welcome back to my channel today I wanted to share with you how I am going to be packing for Astro Camp this week my students and I will be up in the mountains for three days it's a great bonding experience but it's gonna be so so cold and so I'm gonna be packing all of my really warm and puffy items into my suitcase but I thought I would share with you how I'm gonna fit everything and make sure I can take everything that I need so I will be using the con Marie method also known as the Marie Kondo method and so here we go Okay, so first thing that I do is I make a packing list because not only does the packing list help me pack, but I also save it so that when I come back, I make sure I bring everything back with me. So let's see my list. Okay, so I have my Astro Camp list. I have to pack a lot of socks just in case. So before I start packing, I'm actually going to clean my floors because if I'm gonna be putting all of my clothes on the floor, I wanna make sure there's no straggling hairs or lint or things that get attached to my clothes. So I'm just gonna clean really quick. Okay, now I'm going to grab my suitcase and then just kind of throw everything into my suitcase as if I'm shopping in my own closet. Here is my suitcase. Let's just open it up and make sure nothing's in here. Oh, struggling so hard right now. Okay. Yep, all empty. Okay, so I'm looking at my list. I need some shirts. Oh, okay. I'm gonna grab a shirt. So I'm just gonna grab everything I need and then show you guys what I'm taking. Um, okay, here we go. So this is everything I believe I'm going to need. First things first is I always like to wear my heaviest things whenever I'm going somewhere so that I don't have to pack it. So on the first day and my last day, I'll usually wear my heavy items so that it makes packing easier. Next, in my suitcase, I always have my travel size shampoo, body wash, conditioner already in here, ready to go because I don't really need to ever take that out because it's something I always need. I always have my shampoo, conditioner, and my body wash. I also always keep a plastic bag. I think this is from SoulCycle. Yep. I always keep a plastic bag with me just in case my shoes get dirty or have dirty laundry and it doesn't get all mixed up with my clean stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna get all of this to fit inside. Here we go. First, let me take out the clothes that I'm gonna be wearing so that I don't pack it and it takes up so much room and I'm gonna wear my puffiest jacket with me. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is sort out this giant mess into different categories. I like to pull out my heavier items first, but pretty much I'm just going to separate everything from shirts, jackets, socks, and undergarments. After I do all of that, I like to fold my heavier items first because that's probably what I'm going to put into my bag and make sure it all fits. I've only seen a couple episodes of Tidying Up with Marie Kondo, but I honestly love her positive personality and I also appreciate the fact that she really believes that your life can be sorted and organized because even me looking at this giant pile of clothes, I was very unsure if I could make everything fit, but I believe that with the Con Marie method, I'd be able to make it work. So let's find out if I can. I feel like it's very calming to have a method to folding clothes because sometimes I'm really lazy and I like to fold things really quickly but then they end up being a little wrinkled. At least this way everything fits in a neat tidy space and it prevents wrinkling.
get in my heavier items, I also like to make sure that I put my clothes that I'm going to use immediately closer to the front because if they're in the back, they're a little harder to get to. But what I love most about the KonMari method is that all your clothes are visible and they are stacked upwards so that you can see everything that you have versus just putting everything on top of each other. So after that, I just kind of sort everything, organize everything. If I realize something might fit better somewhere else, then I'll go ahead and move it. There really is no hard and fast rule. It's pretty much what sparks joy for you. All right, and that's it. In my previous shot, it was overflowing, and then now everything fits inside. Okay, I can zip this. Ta-da! So on top of packing my suitcase, I'll also pack a tiny bag with a snack, my water, some lotion, my inhaler. Surprise, I have slight asthma even though I work out a lot. And so don't ever let excuses stop you from doing what you need to do because you can do it. And then I also always take earplugs with me because I'm a very light sleeper and just in case I hear any little weird noises being in a different place I like to have earplugs earphones for music um, just like ibuprofen in case I need it and that's about it so I just finished my workout and I showered and as you know or maybe you don't know I don't blow dry my hair so we're just gonna leave it like this I'm gonna make a new smoothie and I don't really like to use juice in my smoothies because it, it has a lot of sugar but I was feeling a little sick so I bought orange juice and then I was like ah, I can show you guys my orange juice smoothie so here we go okay so you are going to need a blender you're going to need some orange juice Pineapples as always. If you want to use fresh ones, go ahead. Uh, I just always keep the frozen ones because they're cheaper. Some strawberries. Again, you can use fresh ones. And then I froze my bananas so that they, it'll become an extra thick smoothie. I'm also going to put in some uh, collagen peptides. So a lot of people have asked me about this. Basically, it really makes my hair grow a lot faster. I know that that's not really the reason why you take collagen, but it really does help. And it helps with your joints, it helps with your bones, and then it also has 18 grams of protein. So I take this instead of my protein powder because I don't need to buy two different things. one of my favorite smoothies because it is sweeter than using my non-sweetened almond soy nut milk. <laughs> if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and I'll see you later.